Hey, Jay Sims here again in video 8 of the 30 days of free content video series that I'm doing. Uh, today, just wanted to uh, do a short little video. Um, in the past videos, I've showed you Screencast O Matic and Jing and how you can record with those and um, how to make your intro PNGs to put in the front and the back of your slide of your intro and outro of your videos whether it be uh, PowerPoint videos, you on camera, screencast videos like this that I'm doing right now. Uh, anything you want to do you know, put it into Windows Live Movie Maker and add music to it and get a nice little intro for your videos. Well here's another idea that you can do as well and you can you can put these right into Xheader too. So if you haven't watched those videos, I encourage you to go back and watch those videos and and learn how to do that. And then you can also, uh, I just made this logo here the other day on a totally free site, and you are allowed to use these logos in any way you choose. So very cool stuff. Um, let's go and check it out. So the name of the site is Cool Text you may have heard of it. If you just do a uh, search for cool text, um, it's cooltext.com right here in the first. I'll leave a link to the to that um, in the uh, at the bottom of the video. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked here because I was looking at this image over here. <laughs> this number one most deadliest food. Wonder what that could be. Uh, I'm not gonna find out right now, but. Anyways, got my attention. That's a pretty good ad there. Um, so here you go. Uh, choose the logo style. They've got some pretty cool, some pretty freaking cool logos. No, I don't know about that one, but you know, like <laughs> this actually looks like a video game style. It reminds me of the the video game Skate Three, which I like to play. Um, just some really freaking cool stuff here and you know for you know you could you could use these in a lot of ways a lot of different ways actually whether it be maybe some some uh, niche websites for your your headers uh, this fantasy one's cool if you're doing some something like that and in, in a fantasy niche like video games or something you know and there's this one. Uh, there's just some really cool stuff in here, and I encourage you to come and screw around with it because there's a lot uh, of niche type, you know, logos that you could create, or even for some maybe your product. Maybe you're creating a product. You could. Uh, I'm I'm also going to show you a um, free uh, ebook cover creator. So, and you're also able to load images into that. So, um, just an idea there too. Uh, but I'll be showing you that later. But they've got some really cool just logos. Let's take a look at this one. All you do is click on it and choose it, and it shows up here. You can change the uh, font. You'll see it up there. Change so. And down here, you can you know make it bigger. Uh, I don't know how big it'll get, but without you know distorting or you know looking kind of kind of blurry but um, and then you can change you know the outline the shape everything uh, I would encourage you just to get in here and mess around with this and you know when you're done you can just click create button and then it's gonna warn you that it'll only save it for you for about an hour or so you need to download it and then uh, there's your image there. Now you can go right into X header and load this image up, put it right in the middle, drop it right in the middle of your your intro outro slide that I showed you how to create in the earlier videos. And boom, you've got yourself, you know, an intro uh an intro. So there's there's different ways to do it and I just, you know, I I thought that this would be a uh, a cool thing to show you give you some more options and right here is the usage terms and it says pretty much oops says pretty much here that you can use this uh, in any shape or form any way shape or form that you you'd like without asking permission uh, so you can use it 
any way you want. They're telling you right here. This is their usage term, usage terms. They're saying, "Hey, gosh darn it, you can use this thing any way you want. Just consider, just tell your friends and consider liking us. And why wouldn't you? You know, it's it's just super cool service and um, for free. And you know, go check it out. I encourage you to go screw around with it. I'm definitely going to be using it." Um, and creating some some cool logos for intro outros on my videos and um, also maybe for some, maybe some headers or you know creating some header image images you know little logos and stuff um, but if you're if you're looking for a text logo you know can't beat it for free and and you could even go to Fiverr give them your logo and have them create a little intro video with your logo you know uh, the I forget what they call them now but they call it a there's a certain name for it but where your uh, those little intro videos that they make with like this would be all busted up and it would come together at you know and form your logo um, but there's all kinds of cool stuff on Fiverr that you can do so you can come create a logo here uh, a font logo and take it to Fiverr, pay five bucks and have them, you know, create a little intro video for you if you want to do. Or you can just make it yourself the way I showed you how to do do it and add an effect that way. Um, so hopefully you uh, found this video cool, found another cool tool you could use for free and I will talk to you on video nine. So looking forward to that. Alright, thanks a lot.